Hello, my name is Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write Hindi. We are also here to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our lesson number 22. Lesson number 22. During the first 20 days, day 1 through 20, we learned the matras. We learned five matras. We spent four days each on each of the five matras. We learned Aki Matra, then we learned Iki Matra, then Oki Matra, then Uki Matra, and then finally we did Eki Matra on day number 20th. We finished that. And yesterday we started a new topic. A topic that does not exist in Hindi, but we have to learn, we have to discuss it. If you're learning Urdu, you will under, need to understand the, this, this concept. And if you're learning Hindi, again, you will need to understand this topic. And the topic is that, the, 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 the topic that I'm, that I'm alluding to is the fact that there are 10 letters, there are 10 letters in Hindi that do not exist in Urdu. We have the sounds, but we don't have the letters for them. So we have to improvise, we have to learn to improvise. For example, today we'll do two of them. Let's, do the, let's take a look at the first one. For example, here's your te. This letter is called te, and you combine it with something called do chashmi he, and that produces the sound of the. This concept is exactly similar to what you would do in English. English also does. English speakers cannot. English speakers can most certainly produce the sound of the. They do have the sound of the, but they don't have the letter to represent the sound. For example, if you want to write Thailand, if you want to write Thailand in English. What would you do? They don't have a letter for the. So what do they do? They improvise. They put T and the H together. That's exactly what we do in Urdu. We take our T and we combine it with our H to make a the. And this H that we're talking about, this He that we're talking about, it has a special name. This He is called Do Chashmi He. Do Chashmi He, right here, the very last one. Let me show you how it's written in, the, in a very large in a very large form. Watch, watch how my hand moves. This is what it looks like. This is how it goes. It's called Do Chashmi here. It's called Do Chashmi here because it looks like Do Chashmi. It looks like spectacles, glasses. Do Chashmi here. When we, when, when we combine it with Te, it will look like this. Just like that. And now it becomes a The. Now it becomes a The. But of course, we don't have to go through this mumbo jumbo in Hindi because Hindi actually Hindi does actually possess a letter to represent this sound. Th. Th. That's what it looks like. And there are ten such, as I said already before, there are ten such letters we have to learn in Hindi. We did two of them yesterday. We're going to do two today, there will be four, and then we'll have three more parts to go, where we'll do two each. That's why there are five parts on this topic. This so today is part two of five. Let's write some words. So that's a th. Let's convert th into a tha with aki matra. So there is our th, to which we're going to add aki matra. That makes a tha. We combine the alif. And then we have a lam, which is a lo, and it will have badi ki matra. If it has badi ki matra, we know it's going to end in a choti ye. Thali. You know what a thali is? Thali is a plate that we use for eating. Uh, it has different compartments for different dishes and so forth. Thali, usually made out of metal, uh, copper most of the time. Thali. Let's put them together here, shall we? So this is fine. What's going to happen is that this lo is going to combine like that. Thali. Like that. Whether, whether it looks very sharp like this or whether it has a curve to it makes no difference. But that reads Thali. Let's do one more. This time with Oki Matra. This is the third. 
to which we can put wow next to it that makes a pull that makes the pull pull and then the ray this letter is called ray that's a ro and then alif aki matra that reads torah now we have to put them together when we put them together all that is going to happen is that this guy is going to get up and he's going to join the vowel just like that torah then we rewrite it Torah. You know what Torah means? Torah means little bit. Torah. Let's do one more. You know what? I'm going to erase this top part because it's taking up too much room. It's, it was just taking up too much room. Let's do the next one. Next one is a bit tricky. Next one is a bit tricky because the word that we are about to write will require us to use Hey, the letter hey two times. Listen very carefully. Letter hey two times. The letter is called hey. The, the name of the letter is hey, which is your her in Hindi. Her. But her comes in four different forms in Urdu. This is a hey. This is called badi hey. It's right here. This is a hey. This is a hey. But these two are the same letters. These two are same letters to written in two different forms depending on where they appear in the word whether they appear at the end or in the, in, the, in, the, in the middle and then finally we have the last day which is what the one we've been using here which is Do Chashmi He the word that we are about to write will require two He's only in the spelling of Urdu because in Hindi we don't need Do Chashmi He because Hindi has a word itself the word itself is Tha here we go here's the first first part ha ha and for that we're going to use this guy right here so this is the ha to which we're going to combine alif that makes the ha and now we're going to take our te and do chashmi here which is going to make a tha so that makes the tha and then we're going to use choti ye ki matra to, to give it a badi ye ki matra choti ye to, to make it a badi ye ki matra and that reads Hathi. Hathi is an elephant. Let's put them together. Let's put them together on the top. Ha. This is confusing. I meant to make I meant to make a circle. There we go. Let's say ha. So this ha and alif. Ha and then a th. And that's what you There you go. That says elephant in Urzu. Hati. Let's do one more. This time with Eki Matra. Or to be more precise, Badi Eki Matra. So there is a Tha. And now we're going to join with it. Badi ye. So that makes it that makes it eki matra. Badi ye converts tha into a te. So far we have te. We don't want te, we want badi eki matra. We want te longer. So we put a zabar on it. And now it takes two. Te. And then lam. So that all of that thing is one part. And then lam and alif. This is aki matra with l. Lam. Tela. Tela. You know what tela is? Tela is a bag. Bag. When when we have a chuti ye o badi ye, when it appears in the middle of the word, we know now, we already know by now that it takes this form, a semicircle with the two dots. That's what it's gonna that's what that's the form it's gonna take. So here's our te and this is badi ye with a zabar. Don't forget the two dots. All of that says te, this part. And now we have to put a lam, la together. So here's your lam and then alif. The alif goes inside the tummy of the lam. Let's write it freehand so you can see it. That looks much better. Tela. Tela is in bag. Tela is in bag. 
a masculine tela is it's masculine tela is bigger if you have a smaller bag you will use a feminine version which is teli teli is a small bag or, or, or it could even be a purse and for teli hindi is very simple all you have to do is without doing anything to convert it to aki matra into badi aki matra you just continue with this thing and now it becomes teli but in urdu this alif is going to go away and we have to combine a chhoti ye and it's no longer going to look like this it's going to look like this te li te li te la te li let's do one more again we're going to use this her as we just did this her right here her And now we have Oki Matra with Th. Th. Or to be more precise, Badi Oki Matra. So we need a vowel that mixes the Th. But we need a Badi Oki Matra. So we put a Zabar on it that makes it Th. So, so far we have Her, Th, Her, Th. This is Her. Oh, uh, this, this says Ho. It doesn't say Her, Th. This says Her. This says ho. Ho. Po. I hope I did it correctly. I hope it doesn't look too horrible. Ho, to. And then re. And then alif. Hathora. Hathora. You know what Hathora is? Hathora is a hammer. Again, a, a masculine hammer. Masculine, not masculine, a masculine, yes. Hathora is masculine. Hathora is a hammer, a big hammer. A small hammer would be called Hathori, a feminine version. Hathora. Let's put them together. Ho. 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 Let me start again. Ho, to, ra. That's how it looks like. Tora. Don't forget the zabar on ta, because that's what gives it the badi oki matra. Hathora. Now instead of hathora, if you had a hathori, you would just convert it to badi uh, badi oki matra, and this alif will go away, and you will have a chhoti here. Now it says hathori. Now it says Hathori. But Choti here this time is not going to join the Re. Re does not join anything that comes to the left of it. Re only joins to something on his right hand side, never on the left hand side. Hathori. Let's do one more. Same letter. Same letter as before. Ha. Ha. And a Tha. Ha. Tha. And now we have Ye and Alif. This is the letter Ye. This is Ye. Which is going to join with A to make it a Ya. So this Ye here that you see is not being used as a Matra. It is, used, it is, it is acting as a, as, a letter, as, a, as a letter Y, as a letter Ye. Obviously it's not being used as a Matra. Because how can you have two Matras next to each other? This is a Ya and this is the Matra. This is Aki Matra. Alif serves as the Aki Matra right here. Ha. This is wrong again. We don't need Hatha. We need Hat. We need Hat. Ya. Ra. Hathiyar. Hathiyar is what I was trying to write. You know what Hathiyar means? I think Hathiyar means either tools. Hathiyar means tools or weapons. One or the other. Hathiyar. Let's put them together. Ha. Hat. Hathiyar. So that was a little introduction for the, for the letter Tha.
Now we're going to move on to the next one. And the next one that we're going to move on to will join ta will join ta with do chashmi here to make it a to make it a ta to make it a ta I'm going to raise this a little bit so we have a little bit more room here and the ta of all the letters in Hindi ta is the one that I find easiest because it's very simple all you have to do is put a put a line there like this and put a circle that's the ta one more time a, a straight line and a circle makes it te plus do chashmi hai te let's write some words let's practice writing some words with ta either starting with ta or containing ta here's the first one oh we can do it right here let's do it right here you already have a ta Let's put A in front of it. Art. Art as in eight. How do we write A in Urdu? We take a alif and then we put a symbol on top of it which is called mud. We learned it before. We have learned it before. It's called mud. And it's read as alif mud A. That's how we convert A into a A. Because you see in Hindi, your A looks like this. Which makes very easy to make an Aki Matra, you just put Aki Matra and that's it. But our Alif, our Alif itself is just a line. So we don't put another line next to it. We take our Alif and we put this symbol, which is called Mad. Alif Mad A. And that's how we write 8 in, in Urdu. Art. Art. Let's do the next one. This one will take a choti ki matra. This is the ta. But we don't want ta, we want a t. So we take a zer, choti ki matra. T. And then a kaf. Kaf and alif. That's a ka. A ki matra. Tika. And then na. Tikana. Tikana. Tikana as in uh, Tikana. I think it means address. Tikana. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, Tikana is a address. Let's put them together. I shouldn't have written ahead of time in my notes. I forgot to write it. Let's put them together. So there's your ta. And then this calf, when it joins, it looks like this. So this is ta. It is there underneath. T. Oh, we don't need a curve, we need a car, so this is going to look very different. We don't need a curve. This curve is about to join Aleph, and when it's about to join Aleph, it takes a very different form. The calf is going to look like this. This is what the calf looks like when it's about to join Aleph. It changes this from this form to that form when it's about to join Aleph. So this is what it's going to look like. P. Ka. Now, Tikana. One more time. T. Ka. No. Tikana. Let's do one more. Another word with the letter T in it. Or to be more precise, beginning with T. But this letter, this word that we are about to write is a very simple word because it only has three letters technically four in Urdu, but in Hindi only three letters and no matras, no matras whatsoever. So here we go. Ta and, and you understand why I said technically four letters in Urdu because this is not one letter in Urdu, this is actually made up of two letters. This is made up of Ta and a Ha. So in Urdu this is actually two letters. Ta in Hindi it's just one. Ta Na Noon and then the, the, dal, dal. Thund, thund. 
Thun means cold, chilly. If it's chilly outside, you say thun lagi hui hai. It's chilly outside. Thun de bahar, aap coat pen le, it's cold outside, thun lagi hui hai. Thun de bahar, it's better to wear a coat. Thun. That's how we write it. Let's join them together. Watch what happens. So this guy is going to be a little bit higher. And then there is a noon. That's the noon part. And then the da. Turned. Let me do it one more time. Like this. Because what happens is that if you slow down or if you stop in the middle, then it's difficult to get going again. That's why it came out so awkward. Turn. One more time. Turn. Just like that. It should be free flowing. Let's do one more. This one will have Eki Matra. This is B. This is B. And a buddy here. B and a buddy here is going to convert. I shouldn't say B. Let's, let's, start, let's start again. The name of the letter is B. That's what the letter is called. That's what the letter is called. But in this context, I'm going to call it B. Okay, watch. So it's buddy A converts B into B. The C. See, there's a potential for confusion, so I let's just call it B. Buddy A converts B into B. It's an Eki Matra. But we don't want Choti Eki Matra, we want a Buddy Eki Matra. So this takes a Zabar. And that takes a second one. That makes it B. B. And then a T. B, T, and then a Na. Betna. Betna is in to sit down. Betna. Let's put them together, shall we? Again, this Badi A or Choti A. Badi A or Choti A. Where did we do Badi A and Choti A? We must have done it right here. Whether it's Choti A or Badi A, when they are about to join something, they take this form. There we go. Let's put them together now. B, ye, and now the T, and then Na. Bet Na. Let's do one more time. Oh, that looks horrible. That's much better. Bet Na. Bet Na means to sit. Bet Na. Let's do one more, and this next, this next word is going to have Eki Matra twice. It's going to have two places where it will take Eki Matra. Tho, and the body here, that makes a Te. Then a calf, and a body, that makes it K. Then a dal, dal is the, dal is the, the, and then alif, da. And then a re, re is ra. And what does it read? It reads T, K, da, ra. We have three matras here. Except two of them are the same. Choti Eki Matra, Choti Eki Matra, and Aki Matra. Choti Eki Matra, Choti Eki Matra, Aki Matra. Right there, right there, and there. So this is your Matra, Eki Matra, this is Choti Eki Matra, and this is Aki Matra. And it reads Tekedar. Tekedar is in contractor. Take it out. Let's put them together, shall we? So there is your T and a Y, T, then then the calf and a Y, that's a K, T, K, and then a Dal, and Alif, Da, R. Take it out. That's what it looks. That's how it looks like. One more time. T, K, Da. 
Take it up. Let's do one more. Lam and Alif. That makes it La. La and then T. T. Sorry. T. T. And a Chodiya. Chodiya means Badi ki matra. What does it read? It reads Lati. Lati is in a can, a walking can, a stick. A walking cane is called lathi, a stick that uh, people use uh, in their old age. Lathi, walking cane. Let's put them together. Why should we put them together? So when Alif joins the la, it's going to jump in the tummy. It jumps in the tummy. And when Te joins the Chote Ye, it's just going to get up and move up. Lati. Let's do free end. One. Lati. Lati, as, a, as we said, is a walking cane. So those were some examples of the words containing the letter T, which is a combination of T and a H. That's what we have to do in Urdu. We have done two letters today, we did two letters yesterday, as I said already, as I already told you before, there are ten letters that we have to learn. When I say we, I mean Urdu speakers, people who read and write Urdu. If you are here to learn Hindi, there are ten letters that we do not have in Urdu. They do, they do have these letters in Hindi. We have to learn all ten of them. We learned two yesterday, we learned two today, we are going to learn two tomorrow, which is going to be part number three. Part number three, and after that we will have two more to go, two more parts to go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.